So if you look at the current seizure stats in FY22, we've already seized 13,000 pounds of fentanyl, largely at the Southwest border. So it's really been devastating of the fentanyl really epidemic. According to the CDC, there's been 108,000 overdose deaths in 2021. Early on, we were seeing more powder fentanyl coming across the border. What we're seeing now is really a, an explosion of different varieties of pills. So if you went to our laboratory, you would see blue pills and orange pills and pink pills. And, 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 and largely, I think this is a marketing effort from the cartels. Uh, being able to to identify their specific product on the street. One of the things that I fear is being able to introduce in, this into the, the high schools, for example, having this be more of a recreational drug. That one pill could be the death uh, of you or your friend or a family member, just given the potency of the narcotic. So if you look at fentanyl and compare that with traditional heroin, uh, fentanyl can be upwards of 50 times more potent than heroin. We have seen majority of uh, the fentanyl seizures and encounters at our ports of entries. They're created through packages uh, within vehicles, uh, on persons, strapped to bodies, uh, and torsos and legs of individuals crossing, smuggled as a fake prescription uh, pills for some way or some other. We are hyper vigilant and focused on identifying these encounters through, of course, any and all partnership and information sharing with the government of Mexico and other international partners. We're looking at other federal, state, and local uh, entities to assist and work as a partner to focus on identifying and encountering and mitigating the encounter uh, entries into the southwest border to the United States. What we also have done is really focus on our enforcement efforts via the advanced information that we've seen. We have our focus anti-terrorism contraband enforcement teams, or ATSET, focused on uh, targeting individuals individuals, uh, talking to individuals, interviewing individuals. We're utilizing the non-intrusive inspection technology to scan vehicles, conveyances, trains, trucks, and such, entering our borders. All that focus is what we're doing today to ensure that we are safeguarding our country, uh, safeguarding our communities, and of course, very much so, our families.